Now, our next guest has been causing a stir in the comedy world for the past few years. She is the sassy, kitsch and glamorous A-list air hostess to the stars. And she counts Madonna, Cher and Sir Elton John amongst her fans. She's the air hostess you would least like to be working on your flight. So everybody, brace, brace, as we welcome the fabulous Pama! <laughs> On the Marrakesh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on that flight, that back to back. Yes. Hello, economy. Look at them over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, oh, 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 the good old spot. Now, this is, this is some junk in your trunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad. A lot of cars. Bigger than mine. <laughs> You've got a great. Oh, that is a fabulous oh, outfit, Pam. Oh, thank you. I'm loving the lip gloss. Mm, loving yeah. the lip gloss. I've got a present for you, girl. Oh, have you? Oh, oh, yeah. Poor little present. Look at them up there. What's this sound up there in economy? Listen. Oh, hang on. Oh, that it's glass, isn't it? Oh, there you go. These are little yeah. mugs. Get rid of those ones. Oh, you've got some salty yeah. nuts. Oh, lovely. I do like There's nuts. Oh, a little nuts. salty oh, tree. Oh, thank you. Shock the world. Shock the world. Look at this. Oh, there a little go. picture of Pam oh, on there. There you go. Coffee, tea, or loose women. Those are fabulous. Oh, 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 thank it. you, Pam. You're now, we were welcome. saying in the trail there, Pam, that obviously you have a lot of big sort of celebrity fans. Oh, yes. And David Furnish, Elton John's boyfriend, yeah. it was his 40th, and they asked you to crew on that plane. Now, I mean, that must mm. have been star-studded. Who was there? Who impressed you? Well, you know, they didn't ask. They begged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was, I was very, very busy at the time, you know, doing my back-to-back. And my layovers, and Elton, <laughs> and Elton got on the blower, and he's like, "Could you do David's 40th?" And I said, "Well, I've got a Bangkok, Thailand, but I'll see if I can fit it in there." <laughs> so I managed to fit it in, and, and I um, crewed his private jet. Look at them in a private jet. Can you spell private jet up there? <laughs> and um, so, and then he had all of his celebrity megastar friends on board. There was Victoria Beckham. <gasps> Was she nice yeah, to you? Yeah. Like? Horrible girl. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. No, she was lovely actually. But the thing was with with Victoria with the posh, I said you have to. I wanted to strap her in extra careful because mm. she's so thin. Mm. I was concerned that she was going to fly through the crack of the door. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Don't get up. Don't get up. I mean, even going to the toilet, I thought she might just get sucked. You know. <laughs> See you later, Pop. <laughs> what about um, Madonna's a big fan? How did that all happen? Oh, you know, the phone just doesn't stop ringing on my plane, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, now what? Well, Madonna and I, you know, we go back quite a while, but <laughs> I'm, I babysit Madonna's baby, baby Ma David <gasps> from baby Malawi. David. Yes, yeah. from Malawi. Because yeah. I actually flew baby David on the plane. Did you? Yeah, that was me. I put him, I said, look, I said, Madonna, put him in the overhead locker. Shh, don't. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> and I said, put him in the overhead locker. No, Mum's the word. Shh, just be quiet yeah. about it. What she do, she gets to Heathrow, LHR, a big paparazzi. Have. I'm like, I told her not to say anything. I bring them in every day. <laughs> I want a couple of you. Have you? Oh, so funny. <laughs> no, I, just, I just thought I'd bring them in. And if you don't want them, Carol, get you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is it true yeah. also that, that you supported Cher on her farewell, farewell, farewell tour? Farewell, farewell, farewell. Well, I would sort of say it was the other way around. <laughs> yeah, she kind of supported me on that. Um, but she did come up to me at one point and she said, Pam. Pam. Look. <laughs> uh, I said, what? <laughs> she went, Pam. I said, what? Watch it. She said, can you turn back time? I said, well, I do Sydney, London. <laughs> I can do 10 hours. That's all I can get you. I can't get you anymore. She's like, oh. Now, we were talking about people being nice, but when it comes to airline food, I'm sure that some people must be, must be rude, but I know that you have your own views about airline food. Well, it's about how you sell the food. 
on board, and I'd just like to. Can we? I need a little bit of lighting. Don't need to dim Can the lights a little bit. A bit <laughs> <laughs> this isn't any ordinary turkey. <laughs> This turkey grew up in a four-story terrace in Belgravia <laughs> with a personal trainer and a hot tub. This isn't any ordinary Brussels sprout. This Brussels sprout has been individually hand-picked and kissed by tiny little Irish leprechauns. <laughs> This isn't any ordinary cabin crew. This is Pam Ann cabin crew. <laughs> we'll fly you like you've never been flown before. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Pam, things. your new show is One World Alliance, but who is in Pam Ann's One World Alliance? Well, there's many knocking on my door, but I can only take a few at a time, and I'm taking on tour with me up and down the country on my, my UK One World Alliance tour. I have uh, Sarah from Virgin Atlantic. She's joining us, and she's, oh, you know, Virgin Atlantic, they're the only cabin crew that get lost on a 747. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they hear the bong, they just know they've got to do something. You don't know, you'd be like, oh, I've got to do something. I've got to do something. <laughs> what is it I've got to do? I don't know what I've got to do. And they get lost in the hotel room. You're like, why is my Virgin Atlantic plane late? Because Sarah is still in the hotel. <laughs> She's like, she, because she goes to the door and there's, do not disturb. <laughs> she can't get out. I've got no idea. And then there's Donna from EasyJet. I've got Donna from EasyJet. She's joining me. And she look, we're flying to Jersey. That's my first stop. And I mean, for her, that's an international I'm going to have to stop you there, Pam. But I know, oh, sorry for cutting you off, Miss Flo. I know your tour starts on March the 8th. Thanks, oh, come on! Oh,